Hi everyone, my name is Puni. I'm a life coach for gifted and creative people. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe now and give this video a like. Um, this topic is again about codependency, relationships. Uh, this will be brief, but I think it's very impactful to hear things repeated again and again. And I, you know, I think the things I say are not very profound, not very, not always novel because I think different people come up with the same things or read things and we hear them and then it's like, oh, that's a good idea and it's very useful. So I'm not saying that my stuff is like, you know, rule changing or anything, but I'm hoping that it will help the community contemplate again and motivate themselves to think about what is worth focusing on towards personal development and change. And, and so this thought is about when you're in a relationship with someone and you have to beg and fight and scream for respect. Um, I think it's something to really step back and analyze. Like, would you let your friends, your best friend, um, a family member, would you let them do the same thing that you're doing? Because it's this weird thing where we allow ourselves to be mistreated so much, but when a loved one is in trouble, we drop everything. We're very critical and analytical and um, even more neutral about the situations of other people. And yet when we're going through something similarly um, intense, maybe not the best situation, uh, maybe unhealthy or toxic, we'll, we'll put up with it because we just think that that's all that we deserve in life. That's all that um, reflects our personal value, you know, based on whatever has happened to us. So again, if you have to beg and scream and, and plead with someone to give you respect, to listen to you when you're in pain, to, um, to offer you care, like give you a hug when you're, when you're suffering, um, think about that. Is that what you want for, again, for the people that you care about? And if not, why is it okay for you? You know, um, as we come to close with this year, it's important to end cycles that no longer serve us. It's okay to let go of things that don't serve us. You can learn from them. You can heal from them. You can honor that you had a moment with someone or, you know, you you did something that gave you memories and, and type of a type of um, meaning or we need, needed something because we felt lonely you know um, there's nothing wrong with these things and yet as we grow throughout the lifespan it's important to know that we are supposed to grow and change and evolve and hopefully surround ourselves with people who encourage us to do the same thing while we you know navigate what it means to be a person in a relationship in a dyad in a you know different types of relationships with different people. It's, it's, it's a big old mess, but sometimes we don't um, know when to let go and honor the ends of things. I think that's part of grieving, um, learning how to deal with losses. It doesn't always have to be death, but it could be a significant metaphorical death of a certain lifestyle, a person who you used to be. These are deaths as well and yet as a culture we do not know how to grieve properly and so we hold on we hang on to things that should be left behind in the past it doesn't mean you um forget about it you know it, it just means that there is a time and place for certain things in our lives certain people certain relationships and we can grow from them again if it no longer serves you so these are just some things to think about i hope that it can offer you a gentle nudge to contemplate what does serve you, what doesn't serve you, and the relationships that do honor and respect your value as a human being, and that we don't hang on to things because we think that it's our job to fix other people, because that's a really um, ingrained thing that some of us tend to have a lens of the world. We don't really know what um, an equal type of love looks like. We think that we're supposed to fix someone when that's not our job. You know, when you love someone, you're not supposed to fix them. They can choose to grow with you, and that makes it equal. So uh, I hope this video helps, and um, if you have any thoughts on these 
topics, please share in the video comments below. Again, it's a public space, so please be mindful of what you share because it is public. Um, I hope everyone's taking care. Take care, everyone.